Welcome, today I'm gonna to teach you how quickly you can transform your mindset. Now, you might be coming from the mindset or the belief system that it takes a long time, that it's not easy, it's hard, it's rigorous, it takes days, weeks, and months to change a habit. Absolutely ridiculous, a bunch of nonsense, and today I'm gonna to show you exactly how your mind works. So there's two parts of the mind, and this is really critical to understanding why you could change quickly. You have your conscious mind and subconscious mind. Most people use their conscious mind to do anything. So you set a goal, you say, I'm gonna lose weight, I'm gonna go make more money, I'm gonna be better, I'm not gonna get jealous, I'm gonna feel good, I'm gonna be happy, and it doesn't happen. Because your conscious mind literally has less than 1%, okay, less than 0.01% capability compared to your subconscious mind. Only 150 bits of information every single second is what your conscious mind can process. Unconsciously, however, you could process up to 50 million. Now, what does that mean? Well, all the programs are in here, but most people don't know how to change that, right? They try and they try and they try. So let me teach you about your mind. So as the world's number one hypnotist, as the best coach on the planet to help people change and transform their lives, I'm gonna give you the tools that I use right now to help change people's lives. The tools that I've taken clients from $30 million in net worth to a billion dollar company in under a year, the same tools I've used to make people instantaneously confident to quit bad habits instantly permanently to lose weight at the age of 60 to go from 280 to 130 pounds in a year, all these things from this exact technique. So this is how it works. So information comes through your conscious mind. Now, I'll actually rewind a second. Imagine growing up. You grow up and you're like, hey, money's good or money's bad. If your parents thought money was good, then you'll have a positive association. If your parents told you it's okay, keep eating, keep eating, keep eating, right, and you had an unhealthy obsession with eating a lot of food, you might be overweight. Where similarly, if you have a negative relationship to love, a negative relationship to happiness, to freedom, to fulfillment, or anything that you desire, you're never gonna get it. So if someone wants to lose weight and they have a negative relationship with it, how will they ever lose weight? It's not gonna happen. So this is how you're raised. So from age zero to eight, you're literally in a brain state called theta. Theta is hypnosis. So you're being hypnotized, you're being programmed to think a certain way. And then your beliefs become permanent. And you develop this part of the mind called the critical faculty. This is like a firewall, right? What is a firewall? A firewall is this defense mechanism to not let any other beliefs come in. So if someone just says, you could change quickly or, you know, go jump off a bridge, your brain's not gonna let you do that. There is literally a filter that says, no, don't do that, right? And the reason is, is because you're trying to protect all the beliefs that you've learned and acquired while growing up. But the problem is, by the age of eight, you don't know much. So the beliefs you've created by then are not that accurate. As a matter of fact, they might even inhibit you for the rest of your life. So we have to update the software. Imagine having a cell phone from 30 years ago and you never updated it. You'd have some dinosaur next to you. Imagine driving a car from 40 years ago. You cannot be using things from the past. You have to update it all the time. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So we have to bypass something called the critical faculty. When you hypnotize someone, you're bypassing this filter. And when you bypass that, you can make instantaneous changes in the subconscious mind. But this is why people don't get to bypass this filter. Because when the resistance comes up, right, the firewall, it's designed to not let you change. When the things come up, you believe it. So it says, oh, this is ridiculous. Your skepticism, right? If you're a skeptical person, if you, don't doubt, if you doubt that you can succeed, if you doubt that you could think big, anytime you doubt something, you're doubting anything, it's this firewall. Now, it's there for good reason. There's reasons you should doubt things. You shouldn't just believe everything you hear. You should take time. You should study it. You should do some research. However, if something is for your benefit, and you've done the research and you know it's gonna improve your quality of life, it's gonna make you more money, it's gonna improve your relationships, it's gonna improve your health. Well, why wouldn't you believe it? You wouldn't believe it because this is designed to protect this. So how do we change this? Well, first of all, we gotta get through this. How do we do that? Most of the time you're in a brainwave state called beta, which is actually up here, but you're, you're really not accessing much of your mind. You're accessing a very, very weak part of the mind that convinces itself through ego, right? So you believe that you have a lot more control than you do. And you actually could have that, but if you're not in control of your mind, your mind is in control of you. So your mind creates habits. Habits create actions, actions produce results. This is common sense. How do we change that? And this video is designed to be very simple, very basic, just to show you how to transform your life quickly. So how do I go from beta to theta, where I can actually go into this part of the mind and reprogram it? Here's the catch. You need to practice. Don't practice getting in a habit, right? Don't practice not biting your nails. Don't practice going to the gym. Don't practice eating a certain way or doing a certain thing. 
Practice a habit of being able to instantly change habits. What does that mean? It means that if I can get into the habit of changing this in an instant, why wouldn't I do that? And that's what I want to teach you today. I want to teach you the number one habit you could possibly learn. So you never have to learn any other skills again that will allow you to change your habits or your programming. Why would I spend 21 days to change one habit when I could spend 21 days or even a few days learning a skill that will allow me to change every single habit? So this is what self-hypnosis is. Self-hypnosis allows you to bypass this part of the brain and change anything you want here in an instant. In an instant. And if you practice this properly and you actually go into it, you practice this every single day, even for the next two weeks, you're going to get so good at this, you're going to make transformations in an instant. I was at Disneyland, ironically, and I, there was a ride I didn't want to go on. I hate drops, right? That's like one of my biggest fears. And I just did this technique, right? And instantly had no fear, went on the ride, had a great time, and it took me maybe 30 seconds, right? So in that moment of extreme uncomfort for me, I overcame it. Now, you might have other moments of uncomfort where there's an opportunity, a meeting, an interview, just anything that, an audition, right? Anything that could change your life in an instant, and you might feel uncomfortable. What if you could just drop into this state, hypnotize yourself for 30 seconds, and come out more confident than you've ever been permanently? What if you could just change anything that's in your mind as it comes up? It's so hard to remember every time you get triggered, every time there's an insecurity, every time there's a limiting belief. But if you have this skill, you'll be able to eradicate it instantaneously. So how do you do it? Well, three steps. Step number one, you can close your eyes. This requires you to close your eyes. Why? Don't do it now, but this is the steps. If you close your eyes, you're automatically leaving beta and starting to go into the lightest stages of theta. So you're starting to go into this beautiful state where you could change. Second thing, you're going to want to get present. You're going to want to quiet down the mind. The mind's going to make noise. It's going to say, open your eyes. What if someone's around you? What if someone's looking? What if you hear someone? Is someone calling you? Is so check your phone. Oh my God, you're going to be late to the meeting. What time is it? Your mind is going to try and get you to open your eyes because it doesn't want to leave beta. So you have to gain control of your mind. You have to dominate the primal part of the brain, right? The primitive mind, right? It's always in fight or flight, always stressed out, always trying to just do something and not be present. So you tell your mind to shut up. You put it in its place. Now, being centered, your mind quiets down. All of a sudden, the noise disappears and you're in control of your mind. And this is the most critical part, step two. Make sure you're clear on what you want. So for instance, if I want to lose weight, I'll close my eyes, I'll quiet my mind, and I will see myself in shape. I'll see my body, I'll see how I feel, I'll see how easy it is, I'll see my routine, getting up in the morning, going to the gym, walking 15,000 steps a day, walking 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the afternoon, 20 minutes in the evening, eating a certain amount of calories, a certain type of meal, enjoying every step of that, right? I'll see that, I'll visualize it clearly, I'll feel it. And then step three, repeat it over and over and over again, every day. The more you repeat it, the more permanent it gets drilled into the mind. You see, when you first do this, you're circulating electricity in the brain. So you're starting to create these neural pathways, but they're temporary. As the electricity circuits through, you're gonna have those emotions and experiences because they're gonna push out those chemicals, but they're not yet permanent. In order to make it permanent, you have to repeat this process over and over and over again, and then it literally carves a neural pathway, like a neural network in your brain. Neurons literally start to bond and connect, and all of a sudden, there's actually a road that you've paved in the brain that will permanently allow you to have that new belief system and new habit formed for the rest of your life. And that is why repetition is so important. So it literally carves it. Now, what you're doing here when you're continuously practicing self-hypnosis is you're carving that into your brain, you can actually go into that part of the mind instantly and make new habits in a moment, in an instant. I have people that are so good at this that in an instant, they never want to touch a cheesecake again. Their confidence is gone instantly. They have a 100 out of 10 confidence. Oh, they're not motivated. They're instantly motivated. They don't want to wake up at 6 a.m. They feel like they didn't sleep for the whole night. Now all of a sudden, they feel like they had 15 hours of sleep. It is insane. If you want crazy amounts of focus, crazy amounts of motivation, crazy amount of control of your mind, you just got out of a breakup. You don't want to feel that? Bam, you got over it. Feels like it's been two years and you've just been on top of your game. How can you keep that kind of mindset? Well, practicing the very skill that gives you control over the mind. So that's what this is about. That's why I'm showing this to you. And here's the number one thing I want you to get from this whole video. You're in control. People will lie to you and tell you, you can't do it. You don't have control of your mind. Your mind is your mind. You're in control of it. Don't let people control you. Don't let your mind control you. 
Don't let the servant, your mind, become the master. Learn how to master your mind and notice how it works for you, how it makes your goals become your reality. So, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment below after you've subscribed and given this a thumbs up, and let me know what else you wanna learn from me. Now, here's the thing. The more you subscribe to my channel, the more content I'm gonna put out. And the more I'm gonna put out, the faster your life's gonna change. My goal here is to change your life in an instant, to show you the way, the shortcut, to getting from point A to point B in an instant in your mindset and in your reality. I believe most people buy into this limiting belief that it's not possible to make a lot of money quickly. Real wealth, it's not possible to become very confident quickly. It's not possible to find your partner quickly. It's not possible to become healthy quickly. All lies. You can do it, but it starts with your mindset. So again, make sure you subscribe right now. Click that link or that button right there, right below this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.